Hey guys, uh, for today's video, I will show you how to set up a UBS or an interrupted power service in uh, FreeNAS 11.42. So first up, uh, what do you need uh, uninterrupted power um, or uh, uh, UBS, uh, power supply or UPS? Uh, so the UBS typically at the rotate the um, hardware such as a computer and uh, data center uh, for home use going to be a network uh, attached storage it uh, rotates the hardware but it also um, give a little bit of rotation again data loss not a total rotation again data loss there's still, still chances that you're gonna lost data during a uh, power loss but <clears throat> it's gonna rotate your um, hardware uh, computer hardware or the um, free net box so how is rotate your hardware um every time you got a power loss and uh, power back on there are chances uh you got um get uh, something gonna happen there's something called uh, voltage spy or sustained uh, over uh, voltage so suddenly it's just a spy that um, actually uh way higher than uh, what your power supply cable up and it call it can uh, cause power supply uh, failures or uh, worse, it might uh, fry your uh, modern boards or other uh, hardware <coughs> in your computer. Uh, all right. Uh, so how does it rotate you um, again? Data loss. It give uh, the system enough time to um, do a reform shutdown. That it, but it um. If it's a sudden power loss, there are chances that you have a hard drive failure. Uh, but the UPS provide enough power for the system, give it enough time to do a raceful shutdown <coughs> instead of like immediately shut down because of power loss. So if the data is important to you, you should have a UPS on area computer at home and uh, as well as your um, free NAS box. <coughs> All right. Uh, so uh, from the FreeNAS uh, homepage, navigate to the services, and uh, you go down. As in, uh, it's on the second page. It's gonna say uh, UPS uh, or uninterrupted power supply. Uh, before we started the service, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set it up. <coughs> so UPS mode gonna be uh, master and. Uh, identifier that you can name it whatever you want um, <coughs> the driver pick the one that um, you currently have and by the way at, uh, before you buy a um, pow uh, power sub um, un uninterrupted uh, power supply or UPS you should go and check it out a list of driver available and make sure it uh, you already buy a list in here uh, APC a lot of user report reported that uh, it really <coughs> picky on the uh, driver cyber power uh, not so much so the one that uh, I'm using right now even though I picked the um, driver for the CP uh, 1350 AV but my it not uh, it not a CP uh, 1350 and it's still working fine just fine <clears throat> then the port this is gonna be the USB uh, or the serial port that you connected uh, from your um, UBS or uninterrupted power supply to your work, uh, work workstation or your free net box <laughs> how do you know that one uh, so I'm gonna get head over to the um, shell right here and uh, you're gonna run the command uh, DM EFG and uh, GREP UGEN. I'm gonna include all the uh, COI uh, in the descriptions. And uh, by the way, I actually um, got this from the FreeNAS forum. Um, should give the credit to the user Speedfoot. There you go. 
inner <coughs> so it tell you right here or your USB uh, connected USB or the um, zero um, port and as you see right here Zen 044 that my um, cyber uh, power supply and that the um, model number for my uh, cyber uh, power supply so that the one that uh, you want to be in the uh, port setting for the UPS so I'm gonna go back to uh, services <coughs> and uh, I'm gonna go to action and edit UPS all right so now that we identify the port is UGEN uh, 044 we're gonna select that one it might be uh, but might be different for you and then uh, that pretty much is you can leave everything as a default but um, <coughs> so shutdown mode uh, that's two different uh, mode one at uh, when the UBS reach a low battery or when uh, immediately after the UBS go on power supply so the first one um, you can set the track home if the UBS battery fall below like let's say at 50% then it's, it's gonna initiate a shutdown for the system not recommended the first option here the reason why let's say the power loss <coughs> and here your system still continue running and it down to 50% now the power back on your system back on again and suddenly you got power loss again now it's gonna continue to run and it's gonna train the battery and remember that it take the UBS at least um, it depends on what model you have maybe like two up to eight hour to recharge the battery so if you got like power loss like constantly power loss eventually the UBS gonna run out of battery and it's not gonna be able to carry your system so your system might go in go into immediately uh, shut down because the UBS doesn't have enough power to revive so the best one is go with the second option immediately as uh, it's go on a UBS uh, battery uh, <coughs> then uh, it's gonna initiate a shutdown for the system shutdown hammer so right now I said a uh, 120 so this value right here it uh, second so I said at 120 second uh, or two minute so what it does is uh, it's gonna start count out the minute that um, it lost the USB connection or a serial connection to your UBS. It's gonna start count out. Um, if the power back on, uh, the system is gonna back to normal. It's not gonna initiate a shutdown. But after 120 second count out and uh, it's still lost connection with the UBS, it didn't get a USB connection or the serial port connections then it's gonna initiate a shutdown <coughs> and here the shutdown uh, command <coughs> so dash b it's gonna shut down like completely the system that h uh, it just shut down the operating system but the box is still on not recommended doing that so play it as default and uh, I have a look into the monitor uh, yes I think that you can actually um, do a remote monitor I don't know how to set it up yet and I don't see any reason why I can monitor it remotely so probably not gonna do it alright and uh, last one this one by default it, uh, wasn't uh, it unchecked but go ahead and check it power up the UBS <coughs> so why should you power up the UBS uh, you never know uh, how long at the power loss gonna be. Um, so um, if you keep the UPS running, it might run out battery eventually. And um, if when it uh, ran out battery and the power come back on, and suddenly it loss of power again then you're gonna be so out of luck because the uh, UBS have no more um, power to provide it uh, for your system <coughs> and uh, once you done that just hit set and uh, last step at, uh, to start a service just, just toggle that uh, 
circle right there and it's running and don't forget to check the automatic uh, star with the when uh, on boot up so when the free net uh, restart and the boot up it automatically uh, restart the UBS service <coughs> all right uh, some recommendations um, if you run it on the Dell I have the Dell R720 XD um, you should set the BIOS setting at uh, the automatically uh, power recovery action is uh, on so the whole system and the UPS gonna shut down but the minute power come back on they're gonna connect it the, <coughs> the UPS gonna be on and uh, your system when it detect electric uh, current it automatically power on to these uh, data center and that it should be uh, on 24 over 7 so if it power loss uh, and it, when they restore the power it should be automatically on so you don't have to uh, manually turn it back on <coughs> it's same thing if you have like a PFC in box uh, you should set it um, the AC power recovery to on so every time it loss of power and the power restores it automatically on um, so you're not gonna lose internet at home and uh, let's see what else Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, by the way, the um, to change the AC uh, recovery um, power, it should be under the BIOS setting. Uh, depend it vary in uh, different system, different BIOS. Uh, but most likely, it's gonna be in um, some of it gonna be advanced power setting, some of it gonna be advanced setting, and some of it gonna be under security tab like the Dell R720 XD it actually under security so it depends on your system you can look the thing up like how to uh, set up the AC uh, recovery then um, I'm sure somewhere in Google they're gonna show you how to do it and uh, that wrap up my uh, tutorial for today guys and I'll see you guys in the next one uh, like always you got a question leave us in the comment below and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and thank you for watching. Bye.